The music world mourned a true giant, a legend whose influence spanned decades. Herbie Flowers, the bassist behind some of the most iconic songs in history, passed away. He was 91. Flowers' legacy is immense, touching countless lives through his music. He wasn't a household name, but his bass lines defined generations, shaping the sound of modern music. From David Bowie's ethereal space oddity, where his bass added a haunting depth, to Lou Reed's gritty walk on the wild side, Flower's touch was unmistakable, adding a unique flavour to each track. His death prompted an outpouring of tributes from fans and fellow musicians alike, a testament to his impact and the respect he commanded within the music community. Flowers wasn't just a bassist. He was an architect of sound, crafting intricate lines that told stories. He didn't just play notes. He sculpted moods and emotions, creating atmospheres that resonated deeply. His bass lines weren't mere accompaniment. They were integral to the song's DNA, essential to its identity. Flowers' artistry lay in his ability to elevate a track from good to legendary, making each piece unforgettable. He made the greats even greater, leaving an indelible mark on the world of music. Herbie Flowers' journey began in the smoky jazz clubs of post-war London, where the air was thick with the sounds of saxophones and trumpets. Born in 1938, he was captivated by music early on, finding solace and inspiration in the melodies that filled his home. He picked up the double bass, honing his skills in the vibrant jazz scene, practicing tirelessly to perfect his craft. His talent couldn't be contained to dimly lit clubs for long, as his performances began to draw larger and more enthusiastic crowds. Word spread quickly about the young bassist with a golden touch, and soon everyone wanted to hear him play. Soon, Flowers found himself in demand, receiving calls from all over, eager to collaborate with the rising star. He became a sought-after session musician, his versatility unmatched, able to adapt to any musical environment. He could navigate any genre with ease, from pop to rock to orchestral arrangements, showcasing his incredible range and adaptability. His bass lines graced countless recordings, his name becoming synonymous with quality and precision, leaving an indelible mark on the music industry. Flower's career was a testament to his dedication and his ability to adapt and excel in any musical setting, proving that true talent knows no bounds. The 1970s saw Herbie Flowers collaborate with some of music's biggest names. Among them were two icons who would become synonymous with his bass lines, David Bowie and Lou Reed. Flowers' work on Bowie's Space Oddity is the stuff of legend. The song's haunting melody is perfectly complemented by Flowers' melodic, almost mournful bass line. Flowers' contribution to Lou Reed's Walk on the Wild Side was equally iconic. The song's infectious groove is driven by Flowers' distinctive bass line, a masterclass in simplicity and effectiveness. These collaborations cemented Flowers' status as a true giant of the music industry. He wasn't just playing bass, he was shaping the sound of a generation. Walk on the Wild Side is a testament to Herbie Flowers' genius. The song's iconic bass line is actually a combination of two instruments, bass and double bass. Flowers played both, layering the tracks to create the song's distinctive sound. The result is a bass line that is both catchy and complex, instantly recognizable and endlessly imitated. Flowers' bass line perfectly captures the song's themes of freedom, rebellion, and the search for identity. It's a bass line that walks the line between cool confidence and understated vulnerability, mirroring the song's lyrical content. Walk on the Wild Side would go on to become one of Lou Reed's signature songs, 
and Flower's contribution is inseparable from its success. Beyond the Stars, the enduring legacy of Space Oddity. Space Oddity is another example of Herbie Flower's ability to elevate a song to legendary status. His bass line is not just a background element, it is a crucial part of the song's identity. The track, which tells the story of Major Tom, an astronaut adrift in space, is both beautiful and haunting. The narrative of isolation and exploration resonates deeply with listeners. Flower's bass line perfectly captures this duality, adding a layer of melancholy to the song's already ethereal atmosphere. It underscores the emotional weight of Major Tom's journey. Flower's bass line on Space Oddity is deceptively simple, yet incredibly effective. Its subtlety allows the listener to feel the vast emptiness of space. It's a masterclass in restraint, knowing when to hold back and let the other instruments shine. This balance is what makes the song so powerful and enduring. The result is a bass line that is both memorable and moving, perfectly complementing David Bowie's vocal performance. It adds depth and texture to the song. Space Oddity became one of Bowie's most beloved songs, and Flower's contribution is a big reason why. His work on the track has left an indelible mark on music history, ensuring that Space Oddity will be remembered for generations to come. Tim Burgess remembers a flood of tributes from music's elite. News of Herbie Flowers' passing prompted an outpouring of tributes from the music world. Tim Burgess, lead singer of the Charlatans, was among the first to pay his respects. Burgess called Flowers a true legend and praised his incredible musicianship. He wasn't alone in his admiration. Musicians from all genres took to social media to share their memories of Flowers and express their gratitude for his contributions to music. Many highlighted his kindness, his humour and his unwavering passion for his craft. The tributes painted a picture of a man who was not only a musical genius, but also a beloved figure in the industry. Despite his immense talent, Herbie Flowers remained remarkably humble throughout his career. He was known for his down-to-earth demeanour and his infectious sense of humour. He was always willing to share his knowledge and experience with younger musicians, and he never took himself too seriously. Stories abound of Flowers' pranks and jokes in the studio, a testament to his ability to keep things light, even under pressure. He understood that music was meant to be enjoyed, both by the musicians creating it and the audiences listening to it. His positive attitude and infectious enthusiasm made him a joy to work with. While Herbie Flowers was best known for his bass playing, he was a multi-talented musician. He was proficient on a variety of instruments, including the double bass, tuba and trumpet. He even played the tuba on Lou Reed's Walk on the Wild Side, showcasing his versatility and willingness to experiment. Flower's musical curiosity knew no bounds. He was always eager to explore new sounds and push the boundaries of what was considered possible. His open-mindedness and willingness to embrace different genres made him a truly unique and irreplaceable talent. Herbie Flowers' impact on music is immeasurable. His bass lines have become part of the musical lexicon, instantly recognisable and endlessly imitated. He inspired countless musicians with his talent, his humility and his unwavering passion for his craft. Flowers' legacy extends beyond his own recordings. He was a mentor to many young musicians, sharing his knowledge and experience with generosity and grace. He understood the power of music to connect people, and